Got the bumpy ride going down. Put the boat in. Uh oh, Vanessa. <laughs> no, don't get me. <laughs> She's got you now, baby. Alright, you want this one? You can probably let out the straps. Yeah. Bradley, there's a. Here, let me get by you down here so I can get back in and talk to Greg. We can move that trap around. No, I'm good. Seats, please. I'm good. Just watch anything. I'm going to sit right beside Danielle. <laughs> One of them out of there. Look at it. She's backing off, Vanessa. Yeah, no, she's. <laughs> uh, <coughs> oh no, you're good out here. Let's just out yonder. We try and figure out where to put this trap. Never fished this air before. Yeah, we've never fished this before. What he said. To the left where this point is. So we know that current's coming around this point right yeah. here. So we're gonna back out and figure out where it drops off into that deeper water, and that's where we're gonna pull for it. Since we're baiting. Probably even, maybe even 10 or 15 foot after it gets in that trough. So I want to get out in that trough. I don't want to even be right in that shelf. I want to get out in the middle of that yeah. heavier current right there where I'm pulling fish from both sides to that scent. You're going to be about 18 foot deep out here. All the way across? No. Yeah. On out there, you get a little bit deeper, but then it's going to. It ain't a real deep hole right here. Danielle, if you're still over, you'd probably take me with you. <laughs> okay. I told her don't go off, she'd probably take me with her. <laughs> Sit there, like. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to catch anything or not, but this is how you're going to bait them. You're going to slide that block in there. A whole compressed cheese block, slide it right up under that flute, just like you would cheese. Catch nothing. Oh, yeah, we got some dumb catfish down. Dumb catfish, that's what we need some dumb ones. <laughs> if, if, if Vanessa can't, if you catch them, they gotta be dumb. No, I'll tear him up every she time. She kicked we my go. butt the other day, Brad. Right? Oh, yeah, their bodies were. Yeah, they're good. They're good. They're good. catch a few.
gloves out of the truck, did I? I don't think so. I'm going to have to have some. Two or three in there. See a little one. <laughs> it was about to smell. Which that's the reason why you keep that gap in there. Three days. Catch a little bit. A few cats in there. Mess to eat anyway. Couple, couple throwbacks. Tip for the day: Don't forget your gloves in the truck. Yeah, don't forget your gloves. Well, that's what we had our first run on the river. We're going to move these traps to the lake. It's not a bad run. A couple good messes of fish there. Ain't nothing wrong with what we're catching, but that's three days. And uh, i just going to see what they're going to do in the, in the lake. I think they'll do a little better in the lake. Right now, we still got a good bit of current in the river. Maybe too much. And uh, But, hey, they'll catch in the river. They'll catch in the lake. At least get you a mess of fish. Y'all know we didn't catch as many as we wanted to, but we still caught some fish. They don't always run real good. And uh, fish in the river. We ain't fish slat traps in the river in years and years and years. I normally fish them in the lake. We're going to move these traps to the lake and kind of compare see what they do. It's the uh, first week in August here. And uh, 
not bad to come out with a good mess of fish. We're going to make a move and just see what happens.